Hello, hi, how are you? How are you doing, people? I hope you're doing fine. My name is Martin, and today you're going to be working with me. Mi nombre es Martín, para aquellos que no me conocen, y los voy a estar acompañando en la clase del día de hoy. So, for this class, you had homework, remember? Entonces, para la clase de hoy, ustedes tenían tarea que correspondía a la clase número 4. Handout Personal Information Homework, which is this one. Remember that you had to complete the questions and answer those questions with your personal information. Entonces, recuerden que para la realización de esta tarea debían completar las preguntas y responder esas mismas preguntas con información personal de ustedes. Now, let's start with today's class, which is class number 5. Okay, so the first handout that we are going to do is possessive adjectives. Okay, so what can you see in this handout? What is the name of it? What is the title of this? Very good, it says remember. Recuerden que los handouts que están titulados de esa manera, cuyo nombre es Remember, al ser pegados en la carpeta, no deben ser doblados. Ok, and what do we have here? We have a chart, tenemos un cuadro, with two columns. The first column says subject pronouns, and the second column says possessive adjectives. Okay, do you remember the subject pronouns? ¿Se acuerdan de los pronombres personales? Okay, very good. So we have I, we have you, he, she, it, we, and they. So these are the subject pronouns o pronombres personales como los llamamos en español. Now, when do we use a subject pronoun? ¿Cuándo usamos un subject pronoun? Very good. Como su nombre lo indica, usamos los subject pronouns cuando se trata del sujeto de la oración. Here we have an example. I am Ben. So, what is the subject, sorry, what is the subject? of this sentence. I, very good, I is the subject of this sentence. So, for that reason, por esa razón, we use a subject pronoun. Entonces, como I es el sujeto de la oración, usamos un subject pronoun, pronombre personal. Now, What about the possessive adjectives? When do we use the possessive adjectives? Cuando utilizamos los adjetivos posesivos. Okay, very good. We use the possessive adjectives to talk about possessions. So, for example, this is my phone. This is your phone. These are his books so como verán en la columna de possessive adjectives hay ciertos espacios para completar now let's do this together so we have the subject pronoun I and the possessive adjective my now we have the subject you and what is the possessive adjective of the subject pronoun you. For example, you can say you are Camila. ¿Y de qué otra manera se les ocurre que podrían decir esa oración? ¿De qué, de qué otra manera se les ocurre parafrasear esa oración? Ok, very good. You can say your name is 
Camila. So the possessive adjective of the pronoun you is you. Very good. Now the possessive adjective of the pronoun he is his. What about the subject pronoun she? What is the possessive adjective of she? For example, you can say she is Camila. ¿De qué otra manera podríamos decir esa oración? Okay, very good. Her name is Camila. So, the possessive adjective of the subject pronoun she is her. Very good. Then we have the subject pronoun it and the possessive adjective it. And pay attention to something. El adjetivo posesivo de it, que es it, no lleva apóstrofe. Then we have the subject pronoun we and the possessive adjective are. And then the last one is the subject pronoun they. And what is the possessive adjective of the pronoun they? So, for example, they are Camila and Joaquín. ¿De qué otra manera yo podría decir esa oración? Okay, very good. The names are Camila and Joaquín. So, the possessive adjective of the pronoun they is there. Very good. Entonces, para repasar, tenemos los subject pronouns I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. And the possessive adjectives my, your, his, her, its, are, and their. Very good. Now, here we have two sentences that we have to complete. The first sentence says, you use, y tienen dos espacios para completar, as subjects in sentences. So, what do we use, que usamos, como el sujeto de la oración. Very good. We have, we use, sorry, subject pronouns. So, we use subject pronouns as subjects in sentences. Now, what do we use to talk about possessions? ¿Qué usamos para hablar de posesiones? Por ejemplo, my phone, your phone, his phone. Very good. We use possessive adjectives. So, we use possessive adjectives to talk about possessions. So, is this clear? Do you have any questions? Si tienen alguna pregunta, no duden de usar el chat para hacerme llegar sus inquietudes. Okay, very good. So, now we are going to work with the book Discover English, page 7, exercise 4. Recuerden que este es el libro que utilizaron el año anterior en preparatory, entonces es probable que ya muchos de ustedes los tengan. En caso de ser alumnos nuevos del instituto, eh, no se preocupen y pueden anotar las respuestas en una hoja aparte y después cuando adquieran el libro pasarlas. So, page 7, 
exercise four it says look at the pictures complete the sentences so we have one two three four pictures and we have one two three and four sentences so what do we have to do we have first Primero, tenemos que mirar las imágenes para después completar estas oraciones en base a esas imágenes. So, the first one is an example. So, we have a boy wearing a hat, right? A cap in this case, sorry. So, the example says it's his baseball cap. So, we have to complete these sentences using a possessive adjective. Entonces, tenemos que completar estas oraciones con algún adjetivo posesivo. Para esto pueden tomar el handout anterior que hicimos donde completamos en el cuadro con los pronombres personales y los adjetivos posesivos. So, Let's do sentence number two. We have a girl with a mobile phone. So, it's... ¿Y qué adjetivo posesivo utilizarían acá? Si estamos hablando de una chica. It's... Very good. It's her... It's her mobile phone. Very good. Now, what about picture number three? It says, Will, Lucy and Liam, and it's... So we have two people here. Tenemos a dos personas. And look, we is the personal pronoun, the subject pronoun. Si we es el sujeto en este caso de la oración, ¿cuál sería el adjetivo posesivo? Very good. It's our CD player. Ok. And the last picture we have two children here with a dog. So, ¿qué adjetivo posesivo creen que podría ir en este caso? Si son dos personas, estamos hablando de ellos. So, the subject pronoun is they. Now, what is the possessive adjective in this case? ¿Cuál sería el adjetivo posesivo very good it's there it's there dog ok very good ok so is this clear do you have any questions lo mismo que con el ejercicio anterior si tienen preguntas no duden en consultarlas por medio del chat Okay, very good. Now, we are going to do the handout that is called Pen Pals. Okay? Which is... No. Sorry. Okay, so now we are going to do a listening activity. It says, Sadie wants to make new friends, so she writes a message with her personal information. Listen and complete her email. Entonces, tenemos un texto que vamos a escuchar y después ustedes van a completar. 
Para ello voy a reproducir el audio en dos ocasiones. Recuerden que ustedes en casa pueden pausar el video si así lo requieren para completar. So I'm going to play this twice. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Step 2. Exercise 3C. Listen to the message in the bottle. 18. Maple Road, Exeter, EX11, 4NP, UK. The 30th of August. Hi. This is a letter from a girl in the UK. I'm English. I live in Exeter in the southwest of England. I'm 12. I like music and I'm interested in computers. I've got a brother and a sister. We've got a dog called Sam and a tortoise called Lightning. What about you? What nationality are you? Where do you live? How old are you? What's your name? Please write to me with best wishes from Sadie Kelly. Ok, very good. I'm going to play it again. Voy a reproducirlo de nuevo. Unit 1, Step 2, Exercise 3C. Listen to the message in the bottle. 18, Maple Road, Exeter, EX11, 4NP, UK. The 30th of August. Hi, this is a letter from a girl in the UK. I'm English. I live in Exeter in the southwest of England. I'm 12. I like music and I'm interested in computers. I've got a brother and a sister. We've got a dog called Sam and a tortoise called Lightning. What about you? What nationality are you? Where do you live? How old are you? What's your name? Please write to me with best wishes from Sadie Kelly. Ok, very good. Could you complete it? ¿Pudieron completarlo? Ok, great. No se preocupen si les faltaron algunas respuestas que lo vamos a chequear ahora entre todos. Ok, so. Hi, this is a message from a girl in the... What have you written? ¿Qué escribieron? Very good. In the UK. The UK. El Reino Unido. The country. El país. Ok, very good. Uh, I'm... So, si ella es del Reino Unido, que es el país, ¿cuál es su nacionalidad? What is her nationality if she is from the UK? Very good. I'm English. Ok. And remember that you have to use capital letter here. Tienen que escribir English con mayúscula. Las nacionalidades en inglés se escriben con mayúscula. I live in Exeter in the southwest of... Ok, very good. Of England. Ok. Inglaterra es un país que está que se encuentra dentro del Reino Unido. Ok, I'm very good. I'm 12. I'm 12. I like music and I'm interested in what have you written? ¿Qué escribieron? Very good. Computers. Ok. I've got a... 
Very good. A brother and a sister. We've got a dog called. What is the name of the dog? Called Sam. Very good. And okay, very good. And a tortoise. Tortoise. What is the meaning of tortoise? Una tortuga. Muy bien. Called lightning. Now. What about you? What nationality are you? Where do you live? Y la siguiente pregunta. Okay, very good. How old are you? How old are you? And then very good. What's your name? Please write to me with best wishes from Sadie Kelly. Okay, very good. Espero que lo hayan podido completar en su totalidad. Okay. Is this clear? Do you have any questions? Something that you'd like to ask? Alguna pregunta relación a esto? Recuerden, no deben hacerla en el chat. Now, we are going to do the last handout of this class. El último handout de esta clase que es Who's reading a book? Okay. So, what can you see in this handout? We have a picture, tenemos una imagen, with different people in it. Tenemos una imagen con muchas personas, a lot of children, okay? And we have some names here, Alex, Jack, Paul, Daisy, Kim, Tony, and Fred. And look, can you see that there is a line here? So this kid is Tony. He is Tony. And he says, hi, my name's Tony and these are my friends. Right now, we are on a school break. We are doing our favorite activities. I'm reading a book. What about my mates? Okay, so let's do exercise A. It says, look at the picture and say yes or no. Entonces, el, el primer ejercicio, tenemos que observar la imagen y vamos a decidir si estas oraciones de acá son verdaderas o son falsas. In case these sentences are true, you write yes. En el caso de, la que las, de que las oraciones sean ciertas, escribimos yes. And in case these sentences are false, we write no. So, sentence number one. A boy is taking pictures. Is that true? Yes. So, we have here a boy who is taking pictures. So we write here, yes. Very good. Now, sentence number two. The children are in a music class. Is that true? No, that is not true. Why? Como saben que no están en una clase de música, a pesar de que podamos ver acá una chica tocando la guitarra. Si ustedes vuelven al texto, it says, right now we are on a school break. What is the meaning of a school break? Very good. The school break is el recreo. So the children are not in a music class. So we write here, 
no very good sentence number three there are three boys drawing on the boards there are three boys drawing on the boards is that true or is that false so how many boys can you see drawing on the boards cuántos chicos pueden ver dibujando en el pizarrón yes only two not three so again this is false and therefore we write no okay now sentence number four it says tony loves reading so who's tony this one right the boy who is wearing a red t-shirt and what did he say ¿Qué dijo él? it says we are doing our favorite activities i'm reading a book entonces tony's favorite activity is reading entonces podemos decir que la oración 4 es afirmativa tony loves reading true so we write yes now what about sentence number five the girl next to tony is wearing jeans so who is the girl next to tony this one right the one that has brown hair and who is wearing a blue t-shirt right is she wearing jeans no she's not wearing jeans what is she wearing very good she's wearing a skirt so this sentence is false so we write no very good so is this clear do you have any questions okay very good now let's do exercise b it says look at the picture again and complete the sentences with one word so tenemos que observar de nuevo la imagen y completar estas oraciones con solamente una palabra so let's do sentence number one the girl wearing glasses is espacio the guitar so this is the girl wearing glasses right what is she doing with the guitar very good she's playing the guitar so the girl wearing glasses is playing the guitar very good sentence number two another girl is using a so we have another girl here here we have a girl and what is she using ¿Qué está usando esta chica very good she's using a computer so another girl is using a computer great now sentence number three all the boys have got gap hair all the boys have got tenemos el espacio para completar hair now let's look at the boys we have one hair one hair one hair one hair and one hair right what do they have in common qué tienen en común en común respecto al pelo a su cabello have they got blonde hair no 
Have they got long hair? No, they all have short hair. So all the boys have got short hair. Very good. What about sentence number four? The girls. Espacio para completar. Setting. So we have one girl here and another girl here, and they. Very good. They are sitting. Very good. The girls are sitting. Ellas están sentadas. And then sentence number five, which is the last one, it says one of the boys, espacio, trains. One of the boys, espacio, trains. So here we have a boy who is looking at an image of a train. Tenemos un chico que está observando la imagen de un tren. Do you think he likes trains? ¿Ustedes creen que les gusta, que a, él, a este chico le gustan los trenes? Look at his face. He is smiling. So... Very good. So he likes trains, right? So, one of the boys likes trains. Okay, very good. So, is this clear? Do you have any questions? Something that you'd like to ask? Alguna pregunta, algo que no se haya entendido, recuerden consultarlo en el chat. Now, we are going to complete this. Vamos a completar este cuadro que dice Remember, y como ya dijimos previamente en esta clase, eh, los handouts que tienen, que están titulados con Remember no deben ser doblados. En este caso ya forma parte de otros handouts. Lo que pueden hacer es resaltar esto porque lo que viene a continuación es información importante. So, it says, to talk about dos espacios para completar, we use present continuous. Now, do you remember the present continuous? Yes? Do you? ¿Se acuerdan del presente continuo? When do we use the present continuous? So, for example, the girl wearing glasses is playing the guitar. The girls are sitting. The girl next to Tony is wearing jeans. A boy is taking pictures. So, when do we use the present continuous? Very good. We use the present continuous to talk about actions now. Entonces, decimos que usamos el presente continuo para hablar, de, para hablar sobre acciones que están pasando en el momento. Actions now. So, Again, a boy, here we have an example, a boy is taking pictures. So, this is the present continuous. En esta oración se está empleando el presente continuo. So, how do we form the present continuous? ¿Cómo formamos a nivel estructural el, pres el presente continuo? We have the subject pronouns I, he, she, it, we, you, and they. Tenemos aquí un espacio para completar y después tenemos verb plus más algo que también tenemos que completar. So, the present continuous para formar el presente continuo 
lo que hacemos es what do we need we need okay subjects we need the subject pronoun we need the verb to be and we need another verb so let's take this let's take sorry this example tony is reading a book at the moment so Tony is reading a book at the moment. Entonces, dijimos que para completar, que para formar el presente continuo necesitamos un sujeto y necesitamos el verbo to be, que se va a conjugar de acuerdo a las distintas personas. So, I am, he, she, or it is and sorry we you they are recuerdan el verb to be am is or are very good and pay attention here el verbo que viene a continuación del verb to be What can you see? ¿Qué pueden ver? Ok, very good. It has ing. So, the verb that follows the verb to be must go in its ing form. Entonces, el verbo que sigue al verbo to be tiene que ir con ing. Okay, so for example, a boy is taking pictures, right? This is, we have the subject, we have, sorry, we have the subject, now we have is, which is the verb to be, tenemos is, que es el verbo to be, and then we have another verb, tenemos otro verbo, y miren, it has ing. So, a boy is taking pictures, this is the present continuous. Now, let's do the last exercise, which is exercise C. Now listen and match the names with the people in the picture. So we have this. We have this picture and what can you see? Can you see that there are some names here? We have Alex, Jack, Paul, Daisy, Kim, Tony and Fred. So we are going to do a listening activity again. Vamos a hacer una actividad de listening en el que vamos a escuchar las descripciones eh, las descripciones de estos chicos para que podamos unir los nombres con quien corresponda. Is that clear? Okay, very good. Now Okay, remember that I'm going to play this twice. Recuerden que voy a reproducir este audio dos veces. 16B. At school. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello. Is this your class? Yes, that's my friend Tony. He's wearing a red t-shirt today. Is he holding a book? Yes, he loves reading. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Where's Jack? He's drawing on the board. There are two boys. Which one? He's drawing a guitar. Oh yes, I can see him now.
Two. Look at Alex. Where is she? She's sitting at the table. Is she wearing a blue sweater? Yes, she is. Three. Who's that boy? Which one? The boy with the black trousers. That's Paul. He's taking photos of the boys. I know. Four. And who do you sit next to in class? Daisy. Is she the one on the computer? No, that's not her. She's playing the guitar. Oh yes, I can see her. I love her blue skirt. Five. Do you know Fred? I don't know. Where is he? He's looking at the picture on the wall. Oh yes, I can see him. Does he like trains? Yes, he's got lots of toy trains at home. Okay. Could you complete it? Pudieron completar? Okay, don't worry if you couldn't. No se preocupen si no pudieron, porque lo voy a reproducir una vez más. B. At school. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello. Is this your class? Yes, that's my friend Tony. He's wearing a red t-shirt today. Is he holding a book? Yes, he loves reading. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Where's Jack? He's drawing on the board. There are two boys. Which one? He's drawing a guitar. Oh yes. I can see him now. Two. Look at Alex. Where is she? She's sitting at the table. Is she wearing a blue sweater? Yes, she is. Three. Who's that boy? Which one? The boy with the black trousers. That's Paul. He's taking photos of the boys. I know. Four. And who do you sit next to in class? Daisy. Is she the one on the computer? No, that's not her. She's playing the guitar. Oh yes, I can see her. I love her blue skirt. Five. Do you know Fred? I don't know. Where is he? He's looking at the picture on the wall. Oh yes, I can see him. Does he like trains? Yes, he's got lots of toy trains at home. Okay, very good. Now let's check this together. So Sorry. Where is it? Here. Okay. So, who is Jack? Who is Jack? Very good. Jack is the boy who is drawing a guitar on the board. So, this is Jack. Very good. Now, who is Paul? Who is Paul? Okay, very good. Paul is the boy who is taking pictures. So, this one. Very good. What about Daisy? Who is Daisy? 
Very good. Daisy is the girl who is playing the guitar. So this is Daisy. Okay. And what about Alex? Who is Alex? Very good. Alex is the one who is sitting at the table wearing a blue sweater. Okay, very good. Y tenemos dos nombres de más, Kim and Fred. Okay, could you complete this? Do you have any questions? Okay, very good. So now, so that was the last thing that we are going to do today. So the class is finished. Vamos a terminar la clase. Dándoles tarea, tenemos para hacer these handouts. Okay, very good. Entonces, for the next class, you have to do this handout as homework. And you have to complete the sentences using I or my. Entonces, de tarea tiene que completar este handout utilizando o I or my. Remember, I is a personal pronoun, a subject pronoun, and my is a possessive adjective. So let's do the first one together as an example. So, tenemos un espacio, name is Ben Grant. Y después tenemos otro espacio, I'm 11 years old. Entonces, ¿cómo completarían la primera oración? Very good. My name is Ben Grant. Why? Because you're talking about possessions. Estás hablando de tu nombre. Entonces necesitas un possessive adjective. My name is Ben Grant. Y acá, ¿cómo completarían? Very good. I'm 11 years old. Why? Very good. Because this is the subject of the sentence. Necesitan el sujeto de la oración. Y como necesitan el sujeto, necesitan un subject pronoun. ¿Ok? Entonces, esto por un lado y por otro lado van a llevar online practice. So, what do you have to do here? You have to complete these sentences using either I o my. Entonces, similar al ejercicio que tienen que hacer en el handout, tienen que completar estas oraciones utilizando o el pronombre personal I o el, o el adjetivo posesivo my. So, again, let's do the first one together. Hello. ¿Cómo completarían? Am Bart. Very good. I am Bart. Why? Because this is the subject of the sentence, so you need a subject pronoun. And I'm 10 years old. Very good. And I'm 10 years old. Again, you need a subject, so you need a subject pronoun. Entonces, de la misma forma completan el resto de las oraciones. Y con esto finalizamos la clase número 5. 
Recuerden que si tienen consultas para hacer, pueden hacerlas a través del chat. Así que eso fue todo por hoy. Nos despedimos. Hasta la clase que viene. Goodbye and take care.